Alrighty, so we're doing a bit of exploring. We're going down Cook's Road here at Conondale. We just thought we'd have a little look around Conondale. But at the Conondale shops, they had this Golden Daytime popcorn. And, <laughs> yeah, these are the business. I, I can't re recommend them enough. They are absolutely phenomenal. still got the taste of the, the gay time flavour in my mouth. It's just like I've only had like two what do you call it? Two corns? Two pop corns? Yeah, kernels. Kernels, there you go. I've just had two kernels in the mouth and they're so, oh god the aftertaste is just lingering like you wouldn't believe. They're fabulous. That's the nicest product that's come out in a long time of any sort. I tried the Golden Gay Time cereal and I really hated it. Sandbox. Yeah. Sandbox. <laughs> um, um, but what I didn't mind, I had a Golden Gay Time Cornetto for a while. That was pretty good. And, um, well, but this is the best one. That's just, wow. But I'll, I'll film a bit more of the street because we're, yeah, we just, we've been driving down all the side streets of uh, Conondale, just having a look at the houses and whatever. That mountain range is so pretty, and all those cows, I love them. Hello, hello fellas. <laughs> Let them go. Baby ones. Bludgers. <laughs> Let them bludgy. <laughs> Why aren't you harnessed up dragging stuff and... <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. Um, the other side of the street when we were going down, there was a little bit more high density housing than this. But there's only a couple of hundred people here in Conondale. Um, but I'm not really certain if we'll see a house down here or have we seen any houses yet? Oh, there's one in the distance. Yeah. See one there. I don't, I think there's different people owning different blocks though because they're fenced off yeah. into different, uh, so it's not just one person owns a huge farm here, I don't think. No. All right, here we go. Look, this is quite a few houses sort of together here. Yeah. Well, this Cook's Road looks like it just keeps going, so. All right. One thing we haven't been able to find here is a swimming hole or a, uh, you know, the, there's the Mary River sort of comes through here, but it, it, it doesn't seem to be a place to swim there and it doesn't really look like you would want to swim in it. It's not very biting. Looks a bit um, dirty, actually. Mm. Um, but yeah, he's got a nice place. That cat, doesn't he? Yeah. Nice garden too. Yeah. 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 He does actually. He's put a bit of effort into that, hasn't he? Yeah. Wow, these mountains. I'm loving this. It's so interesting if we end up in a beautiful river and a, or just, I don't know, somewhere where you can swim or something. Because this is a really hot place. And, you know, if you put the drone up here in Condal, you'd find most of these guys don't have a swimming pool either. Yeah. And there is a pool here in Condal. I've never really seen anyone there. It only opens for an hour every afternoon kind of thing. Yeah. Um... And it's only, I think the pool's like two lanes or three lanes only. I mean, if I lived here, I'd be going there every Arvo. Yeah. Between three and five or whenever it opens. In the summer, it's not open in the winter. It's not heated. Yes, yeah, beautiful out here. Mm. I'm glad we took this turn. <laughs> <laughs> 